Um, this is for like making your own Naruto or anything else RPC. Uh, I'm, I have this picture of Eno and I have a picture of Sakura. And I'm just gonna use Eno for the base. You know, the, like the, the features and everything just because I think she's cute. Um, but the picture's a bit small so I'm just gonna go to Layer, Transform. And this is kind of weird for me still because I'm so used to Photoshop, but I'm just gonna try to zoom in to 100% and I'm just gonna hold the shift key and like pull the corner over so I can get a nice large picture. Uh, move it down. Okay. It, it can't double click in it. That's sad. Anyway, you just push OK over in the corner and it'll set. I just have this. I only have Sakura to like steal hair from because she's got those nice, you know, spiky womanly locks, you know. The men in the show have very just bluntly spiky hair, it seems. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go over, over here to the new line work layer. And you got a bunch of tools here. Um, you can use a pen tool. It's kind of like the freeform pen tool in Photoshop, if you're familiar with it. If you're not, just ignore it. I don't use it. Uh, I don't use weight or color or anything. I prefer just to use a new layer on screen for the color. Um, curve and line tools are what you're going to use. Line tool will just make straight lines. Curve will always try to curve. Um, so that's what I like to use. I know you like to use it on black on one. I'm assuming that's going to be a one pixel, so... Um, you can just like click the layer with your character on it um, and just lower the opacity so you can see the lines better. This picture is kind of blurry so I can see the lines pretty good. Um, first thing I'm going to do is probably the lips or lack thereof, just a smile. And to use this you just kind of click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag, double click to end it. Okay, I've gotten all the skin features done, and let me zoom out to 100%. If I want to preview this, I'm just going to make the, um, you know, layer invisible. So I can see what it looks like so far. Um, and then, now you just got to decide what kind of hair you want. Are you going to copy the character's hair completely, partially, blah, blah, blah. The nice thing about Eno is that... You know, you can kind of see her head shape because of her ponytail. So you can kind of make your own style that way. I'm just going to copy her bangs for now. And I'm going to do that on a new layer, new line work layer, just in case I make a bunch of mistakes. I don't have to intersect them with the skin line art that I already like. Okay, so I'm pretty decently happy with how the hair has turned out so far. Um, the top of the head looks flat just because I'm using, you know, like, I'm not going past the picture. You can, of course, go past it. Um, now I just gotta decide if I want to do anything else with the hair. And I do. So, that's where this picture of Sakura comes in. Um... Brand new line work layer and just um, sketch out um, the kind of hair you want. You know, just kind of do it with the curve. You can always edit it later or like if you're like me and you can't draw with a crap. Um, just go on to another picture and copy a couple locks of hair and copy them over. Okay, I got that one little lock of hair. Now, I'm going to go to Layer, Transform again. You can transform 
these layers too and just kind of rotate it around click and drag it wherever you want you know a lock of hair in that style you know stretch it to whatever you like um, note the line art will get bigger the more you stretch it so um, I don't know I don't really like it you get rid of it but that's basically how you take someone else's hair and add it to this picture. Anyways, um, I'm just going to copy your clothes. New line work layer.